what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we're back once again with some preview and predictions for the royal rumble i am looking forward to this event i've been looking forward to it uh since triple h has taken control of creative and uh, i'm very interested to see how things will play out so i'm gonna give my preview and predictions on who i think is gonna win certain matches and where things may go leading uh into wrestlemania season i think a lot of us are all excited to see what's about to happen for this year's wrestlemania so we're gonna start with uh um i'm gonna start with the, the the women's royal rumble match now i'm not about to go through it and see you know guess who's gonna be involved but i will say the top person i feel that will win the royal rumble i think rhea ripley's gonna be that woman man i think it just makes sense uh, a lot of people have speculated rhea ripley winning it only makes sense I know Bianca and Rhea was supposed to have a match a few months back, but I believe Rhea ended up getting hurt, so they kind of postponed that, and then when Rhea came back, they they nodded to it, like Rhea looking at her championship as Bianca's walking in the back, they nodded to it, they didn't just, you know, really expound upon it, and I appreciate that, so I do think it's Rhea Ripley time, uh, Rhea Ripley's time, her being in in the judgment day her being a heel is the best thing that has happened so far um so far uh for her career in my personal opinion i do think one of the women that should probably be in that match and will be a great moment and a great pop is to have beth phoenix be in that match i would love to see beth phoenix in that match i think that would be pretty cool and once again rhea ripley still gets the best of her because it just you know they can trade shots and stuff like that but rhea ripley ultimately is the one to win the royal rumble because it just makes sense you want to create another star i think that is the best way you can possibly do it is just having rhea ripley be that dominant heel that bianca now has to face and ultimately i i do think bianca will fall to uh, rhea ripley they're, they're trying to build her up as the next next heel um star that uh, the women's division need especially on monday night raw so i'm going with rhea ripley winning the men's royal rumble match let me know who do y'all think will win it uh if y'all have someone else picked um and i usually I, I went with the women's royal rumble match first because they usually start off the show with them being the first match I, I believe they've done that in the past couple of years so maybe they'll switch up the order but um i do i don't know we'll see if they have the women's uh match being first all right next we got bianca belair versus alexa bliss bianca's retaining <clears throat> bianca's retaining I, I get it alexa bliss is charged up now with the fiend magical powers Bianca's retaining I just don't see Alexa Bliss beating her and kind of allude to what I was saying with my pick for Rhea winning the women's uh um Royal Rumble um uh, it, it just makes sense for Bianca to retain so she can face Rhea at some point down the line um I just I just can't really see it I, I think there's gonna be some shenanigans obviously with uh Uncle Howdy and uh Alexa Bliss but I do feel like Bianca Belair will overcome the odds retain and still be Raw Women's Champion um next after that Bray Wyatt uh versus LA Knight um in the uh Mountain Dew Pitch Black match shout out to Mountain Dew <laughs> sponsoring this Pitch Black match um honestly I've really been going back and forth with this. At one point, I was thinking maybe LA Knight gets a win here because Uncle Howdy ends up costing Bray. But I feel like you've bought Bray back and you've been building this up for months. You kind of book yourself in a situation he got to win. This is a match he set up. His, his version of a match he wanted to do. Sponsored by Mount, Mountain Dew. I think he has to win. You don't build this guy up. You don't even have him lose in a weird finish or a finish that's beyond his control. No, you have him win. So I'm going with Bray Wyatt. 
I know uh, people are, you know, want LA Knight to get his his just due, and I, I do think he could possibly some, be someone that's a standout in uh, this year's Money in the Bank. So hopefully he gets his moment. But I do think it just makes sense if you're gonna do this and you've been high on this Bray Wyatt train, he has to win the damn match. So I'm going with Bray Wyatt winning in the Mountain Dew. You gotta say the Mountain Dew pitch black match should be interesting to see what they do here. But ultimately going with Bray winning this match and I'm going uh the next match the match that we're uh, a lot of us are anticipating roman reigns versus kevin owens now i think a lot of us can uh, expect that roman reigns is gonna win this match and i'm going with roman reigns to retain once again but i do think there's gonna be some shenanigans here obviously and i do think Sami Zayn will be heavily involved in this because of what Roman has said on Monday night. He doesn't want to see Sammy until the Royal Rumble. And then, and only then, he will really see if he's truly for the bloodline. I think they're building that story up. Him trying to uh, really test his loyalty. But I do think it's going to be a fun match. Uh, I hope they knock this one out the park. They knock all their other matches at the Royal Rumble out the park. So I think this one's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining. There's going to be some moments where you think Kevin Owens can get the job done. But ultimately, I'm going with Roman Reigns. It just makes sense. It doesn't. I love me some Kevin Owens. Love Kevin Owens. It just doesn't make sense for him to win. Uh... Uh, beat Roman Reigns and take the championship off of him. Roman's not losing until WrestleMania. I think we can all agree there. He's not losing until WrestleMania. I think the biggest story is what's going to happen with Sami Zayn. And we're going to get to, obviously, I think the match is probably going to end the show. The Men's Royal Rumble. It just makes sense. Um, I know I dropped a video talking about does Sami win it? Does Cody win it? I think uh, just logically... From what they got going on now, if you don't really incorporate The Rock, which I'm not really going to incorporate into this, um, I'm going with the guy to win it being Cody. It's just, when you put it down on paper, it just makes sense. Um, the, the vignettes, the promo packages, them announcing he's going to be at the Royal Rumble, him not even announcing it himself, just in a promo package, I'm going to be at the Royal Rumble. It wouldn't make sense for them to give him all these vignettes for him to lose. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I don't think people are going to really complain if Cody wins. The guy deserves it. Once again, wrestled with a torn peck in a Hell in a Cell match. And it was a good Hell in a Cell match. It was one of the few Hell in a Cell matches that didn't really need blood because the story was already there. Someone was legit injured and fighting for their lives in the cage against someone that was being a complete heel. And it was great. It was fantastic. As soon as he was out, I was like, oh, yeah, give him a championship when he goes back. He he deserves it. So I think him winning the Royal Rumble is going to be a great moment. I'm going to stick with that. Hey, you never know. I could be wrong here, but hey, that's just my predictions on this whole situation. And I'm really interested and intrigued to see where things go in the future, man. WrestleMania season is here pretty much, and I'm very excited. So those are my picks on who's going to win the matches, why and why not. Let me know down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, um, Cody will be the one? to win the Royal Rumble this year. And also let me know your other uh, your other decisions on the other matches. I will say I'm happy that there's not that many matches on this card. It should be, you know, straight to the point. And I'm glad they didn't overbloat it like they've done in the past. I know the Royal Rumbles had too many mid-card matches or middle-of-the-show matches that honestly didn't need to be there. So let me know down below who you think is going to win, who you think is going to lose, why and why not. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.